guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to do a makeup look using the Pop Studio Cosmetics album makeup set. But before I do that, I am just going to do a little background about this brand. So, Pop Studio Cosmetics was launched by the gorgeous and talented singer, actress, and record producer, Sarah Geronimo. So, Pop Studio Cosmetics specializes in two-in-one products for people on the go. Also, I am going to say in this video that makeup can be worn by anyone and makeup should not be limited to women only. So, again, because these are two-in-one products, they should easily fit in your makeup or kikai kits. Also, I forgot to mention that each Pop Studio Cosmetics makeup product costs less than 400 pesos. So again, here's what I bought. So in this whole album makeup set, I got a foundation stick, liquid concealer, dual tip eyeliner, a brow pencil and a brow mascara, blush and contour, Mattifying and Coverage Powder Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara Lip and Cheek Tint And a Lip Balm And a Matte Lipstick Also, I'm just going to show you in this kit There's another big picture of Sarah Geronimo I'm also going to share to you that I bought this whole beauty set from last year's Cosmopolitan Beauty Con at a discount from 1999 to 1500 which I believe is a really good steal because there are a lot of products here and each product is a two-in-one product so that's really worth it. Also, I'm going to let you know that if you're interested in buying Pop Studio Cosmetics products, you can actually find an official store of Pop Studio Cosmetics at Shopee. Also, this is not a sponsored video. Sarah, please sponsor me. And with that said, let's get on with the video. Since this beauty set doesn't include a primer, I'm just going to prime my face using the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer. If you're interested in this primer, I actually did a first impressions of this in my Beauty Manila haul video. Also, if you want me to do a thorough review of this primer, please give this video a thumbs up and don't be shy to comment down below. Now, let's prime. Alright, so first step I'm going to do is brows. If you're new to my channel, I'm also going to let you know that I personally like doing my brows before my foundation. It's just a personal preference. You can do your makeup in whatever way that you want it or whatever order you want it. You can do your foundation before your brows. Some people even do their eye makeup before their base makeup. So, makeup's just a personal preference on how you want to do it. So, whatever you're comfortable with, it'll work. Okay, so what I like about this brow product is that it's very pigmented and I don't need to apply it roughly unlike the Caroline Best Brow Liner because with the Caroline Best Brow Liner, it's a little waxy so I really need to apply it harder than usual. But with this one, it's less effort which is good. Also, I'm just going to let you know, as you can see, it's a little brown for my usual makeup look. I actually picked the wrong shade because... I'm just going to let you know that this was an impulse buy, okay? This whole thing was an impulse buy when I was in Cosmopolitan Beauty Con. So now that we're done with the brow pencil, let's move on to the brow mascara. It's a little hard to open. Oh, 
Alright, now that I'm done with this brow, I'm just going to do the other brow off camera. Then we can move on to foundation. Alright, now that I'm done with both of my brows, we can now move on to foundation. Alright, so here is the foundation and concealer. This is the foundation stick. And below we have the concealer. And now let's do foundation. I know this foundation is a little too light for me because again, this was an impulse buy. So again, don't copy me. Think before you buy. Now, let's blend. Alright, I hope the foundation doesn't look too light on me. If you think the foundation looks fine on me, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll keep the foundation. Now let's do concealer. Alright, and next I'm going to blend my concealer with this oval brush that I actually bought from Japan Home or Daiso. Alright, now that I'm done with my primer, foundation, concealer, now it's time to set my face with some powder. Alright, so again, we have the mattifying and coverage powder. And below this powder, we have here a Pop Studio Cosmetics Powder Puff for on-the-go people. Again, this makeup brand specializes in 2-in-1 makeup products. So if you're a busy person, this powder may be perfect for you. Alright, to set my face, I'm going to use a kabuki brush. I just want to do both. Now that I'm done with setting my face, now it's time to shape my face. Here, now we have the blush and contour powder. It has the same packaging as the mattifying and coverage powder. So, as I open it, here we have the blush and the contour. It looks a little dark, but hopefully it looks good when I apply it. Okay. So again, here below, instead of a powder puff, we now have a brush. But I'm not really a fan of these kind of brushes, so I'm just going to use my own brush while applying my contour and blush. Alright, so first I'm going to apply my contour. Alright, so even though when I opened it, I thought at first that it was going to be a little too dark for me. But when I applied it, actually looks really good. Alright, so I'm just going to contour my nose, then we'll move on to blush. And now, let's blush. So again, when I first opened this, I thought the blush was going to be too dark for me. But again, when I applied it, it looks very natural. Okay, so I just realized right now that this makeup set doesn't include a highlighter. So I would say that this makeup kit is very good for beginners. It's actually basic makeup products like... There's no highlighter or eyeshadow, 
but at least the quality of these products are really good. So if you're a beginner at makeup or if you're into natural makeup, this set may be perfect for you. So again, this makeup set doesn't include eyeshadow, so I'm going to skip that and move on to eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner. Again, it's a dual tip. And also, hopefully this is not all dried out yet because as you can see here, it's very used. I bought this last year and I actually used this eyeliner from my Halloween makeup look last year when I joined the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Philippines contest. This is my entry. This is my costume. Also, because I didn't have any face paint, I used regular makeup. So, I used mostly this one for the black parts of my makeup look. And also, I used this eyeliner on my friends when we were doing a dance production. And I helped my classmates put makeup on them. And this is the eyeliner that I used. So, hopefully, it's not dried out yet. So again, I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because again, I can't just apply eyeliner with my eye closed like that. I need to do this and I just don't find it appealing for this video. So I'll be right back and hopefully it's not dried out yet. Alright, so good thing I was able to apply eyeliner but... There's only little product left, but that's on me, okay? That's not Sarah's fault. So at least it looks pretty good. Mm. I'm satisfied with it. So I actually really like the eyeliner. That's why it's almost out of product. And I would really recommend this product. I also forgot to mention how much each of these products are worth. So here it is. So for the stick foundation and concealer, it's 349 pesos. The brow pencil and mascara is worth 299 pesos. The mattifying and coverage powder is worth 249 pesos. The blush and contour worth 349 pesos. The eyeliner pen duo is 249 pesos. The lip and cheek tint is worth 299 pesos. The lipstick and lip balm is worth 249 pesos. And lastly, the lengthening and volume mascara is worth 249 pesos. And again, if you want to purchase these products, you can find an official shop of Pop Studio Cosmetics at Shopee. And again, this is not a sponsored video. Sarah, please sponsor me. Also, if so far you're enjoying this video or if you think my makeup looks nice, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want me to do other videos, don't be shy to comment down below. And now, let's proceed to mascara. Alright, so here is the mascara. Again, it's a 2-in-1 product. So here, we have a smaller tip. I think this is best for the lower lashes. And on the other side, we have a thicker brush, which is for, of course, the upper lashes. Now, let's put some mascara. Before that, I forgot. Let's first curl our lashes. Alright, now let's put some mascara. that I'm done with my eye makeup last we have is the lips so first I'm going to put on the matte lipstick then after that I'm going to put the lip tint so here we have the matte lipstick and lip balm in this shade it says here three so this is what it looks like and it's actually what Sarah's wearing at this side of the picture inside the box. It's this lipstick. So now I'm just going to put the lip balm first, then I'm going to wear the lipstick. Okay, I really like 
like this lip balm because it's very easy to apply it it feels very moisturizing to the lips because I've encountered some lip balms and they were actually hard to apply and they're not as moisturizing as some lip balms and now let's put on some matte lipstick <laughs> Okay, so I also really like this matte lipstick because it feels very nice on the lips. It's not as drying as other lipsticks I've worn because I don't know why, but some of these thick lipsticks that I've worn still feel a little dry on me. But this feels very nice, probably because of the lip balm. Which is perfect. I really like how they put a lip balm under this lipstick. It's a perfect match for beautiful lips. And I also like this shade because it looks natural. Perfect for natural looks. Or if you're new to makeup, this can be a beginner lipstick for you. Because most people that I've known are not comfortable with wearing very dark lipsticks because some intense lipsticks can come off as intense or it can look hot and also the good thing about natural colors or nude lipsticks is that it always makes you look fresh and it's just very pretty all right now let's move on to the lip and cheek tint so i'm just going to remove this lipstick and let's proceed with that now for the final product we have the lip and cheek tint so again, this is a lip and cheek tint. I'm of course going to apply some of this tint on my cheeks and on my lips. So let's see if I'm going to like this lip tint because I'm not really a big fan of lip tints because some lip tints I've seen when I apply it, they're too red for me which is not the look I'm looking for because when I use a lip tint, I want it to look really natural as if I'm wearing a lip balm. So what I'm looking for in a lip tint is of course it's long lasting and it looks very natural. So now let's apply it. Alright, so thoughts on this lip and cheek tint is that it's a little hard to blend. When I applied some of this tint on my cheeks, there's still some marks of where I applied the tint and it's a little hard to blend naturally. And here on my lips, it's not that blended because it dries very quickly. So, again, I am not a big fan of lip and cheek tints. So this is the final look. And again, I don't have setting spray. I wasn't able to buy a new one. Because again, when I was looking through Beauty Manila, there wasn't any available that was appealing to me. So if you have any setting spray recommendations, please comment them down below so that I can finally have a setting spray. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. So again, if you want to shop these Pop Studio Cosmetics products, I will put the link in the description below. And also, they have other products besides this kit and again if you want me to do any other videos or if you have any other video suggestions don't be shy to comment down below and if you want to see more of my videos click right here so that's it for today's video and i'll see you next time bye